Today, we're going to talk about how to share Microsoft lists. The choice you make when you create your list will determine how many people will have access to it. And then from there, we'll look at how to share it with additional people. But first, let me save you some headache. Here on the screen, you will see a snippet from the Microsoft support page. And by default, only site or list owners can share lists. I've included a link in the description so that you can read the full article. There are three different ways that you can create a list. The first one is my list and is the most restrictive. By default, only you will have access to the information on the list until you share it with others. The second is to create a list on a SharePoint collection, and the permissions to this list will be controlled by the security groups that you have in place, such as visitor, member, and owner. And the third option is to associate your list with a Microsoft Teams. The people who are part of the team will automatically inherit the right to add, remove, or edit items on the list. Let's take a look at my vacation approval list as an example. When I open the list, you will see that there is a share button here at the top of the screen. If I click on this, a send link box will appear. A word of caution here for a common error that I run into. If the list is being hosted out of Microsoft Teams, you may not be the owner of it even if you created it. The person who has the right to share this are owners of the team. Since I am the owner of this list, I'm going to share it with Jessica. When I click the permissions dropdown, you can see that I have three choices. The first one is can edit list, which gives the person full access. Then you have can edit items, which allows them to add data to the list, but not really change the columns or the views. And then you have view only, which means the person can see the data, but they cannot manipulate it in any way. In this case, I'm gonna choose can edit, click send, and a box will pop up letting you know that an email was sent to the recipient so that they can access the list. Now I'm going to navigate to a different list that only I have access to. I have a recruitment tracker that has different people who've applied for a job within the company. In this case, there might be some personal information on this list and I don't want to share it with a large group. You have the option to share a single list item. If I hover over Becky's line on the list, you see this little share button. When I click that, I can type in Joni, the name of the recruiter for this particular position. And now I can repeat the process by clicking the share button and the send link box will come up and I can now type in Nestor's name so he will only see this one item. I have navigated to Outlook and logged in as Nestor so that you can see what it looks like when you're the one receiving the link. You'll get an email that has the name of the person who shared the link. The title of the list item is showing in the email because I only shared one item. When Nestor clicked the open button, it took him to my recruitment tracker, but he only sees the one applicant, and we know from earlier in the video that there were three. And just to illustrate the difference, I've went to Jessica's email and you can see she has access to the whole vacation approval list. When she clicks on the link, notice that Jessica can see all of the items on the list as compared to Nestor who could only see one. If you'd like to learn more about Microsoft Lists, see the video on the screen now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.